everyone today we're going to talk about collective nouns and what verb to use with them if we have collective nouns in the sentence so collective nouns are by contrast words such as uh, government committee group that uh, look singular however are plural in their sense so the standard practice is to use the singular verb if uh, a collectiveness or a unity is uh, indicated in the sentence and uh, to use a plural verb if uh, we are indicating uh, corporateness or individuality um, from that particular collective noun in the sentence uh, let's get a few examples in order to understand this better okay let's first of all get some examples with the singular verb uh, for collective nouns each succeeding generation of gallery visitors finds it easier to recognize the cubist subject matter. A group of four young men in denim overalls was standing close to him. Let's get some example of collective nouns with plural verb. The jury retired at five minutes past five o'clock to consider their verdict. Let us hope that the Ministry of Defense are on your side this time. It is also important, guys, uh, to avoid a mixed style. To avoid a mixed style, like I said, so a sentence like the government has decided to postpone their decision. Now, in this sentence, initially you would see that we have the word has, which is the singular verb uh, being used with government, and in the second part we have there, uh, which indicates uh, plurality. So if you have considered government singular in the first half of the sentence, in the second half as well, you must treat it as singular. So the correct form of this sentence would be, the government has decided to postpone its uh, decision. So hopefully this uh, video was helpful in um, helping you get uh, clarity on how to use verbs with collective nouns. If you liked it, please do share it uh, with your friends and uh, subscribe to our channel for more such updates in the future. Until next time, bye-bye.